Hi, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out a game called Trail Makers. Now this game recently came out with a 2.0 update that has massive additions and we're gonna check it on the Steam Deck and let me tell you it's running better than I expected. It has a new campaign mode to revamp building options and survival gameplay. This update brings a lot of fresh content and I've never actually checked it before. So we're gonna break down performance, battery life, controls, uh, and some quirks you might face specifically for the Steam Deck. So let's jump right in. Now, if you're new to Trailmakers, it's a physics based vehicle building game where you craft machines and take them out into the wild. With the new Pioneers update, the game expands into campaign mode on planet Gregory, where you build vehicles to defend the frogget inhabitants from the evil botnak robots. Yeah, that's a, that's a mouthful. <laughs> There's a ton of new content, including new blocks for you to build with and even more customization options for your vehicles. The base of the game is you building vehicles as if you're baking them out of Lego and you can put different engines on them or different attachments and take them out. You can fly, you can drive, it's, it's a lot of stuff. Uh, and it's not just about driving or flying. Trailmakers 2.0 introduces survival mode where you explore harsh environments while fending off threats. And the game has a massive 7x7 seven seven kilometer open world. It gives you plenty of space to test your creations and explore. Alright, let's talk about how the game actually runs on the Steam Deck. Now on the lowest settings, it will run at 90 FPS on the OLED and it will last for around two and a half hours of battery life. If you cap that to 60 FPS, you can stretch the battery life to more than three hours. The game has pretty much four different graphical presets, which are lowest, low, medium, and high. And on low settings, the game will stay around 60 FPS, but will occasionally drop to 40. There are a lot of graphical settings that have to do with shadows and with terrain. And if you bump those up, you're gonna start struggling on the Steam Deck. Now on medium settings with a 60 FPS cap, it will last for about two hours and 45 minutes, but the FPS will often dip below 40. On the high settings, it frequently drops below 30 FPS and won't last for more than two hours and 30 minutes. Now for the best balance, uh, currently I'm showing on screen settings that will give you a pretty stable 40 FPS experience with good visual fidelity lasting around 3 hours and 30 minutes. I think that's a good balance between both visual fidelity, FPS and battery life. Now if you really want to maximize battery life, you can set everything to the lowest and capping it at 30 FPS will give you about 5 hours of battery life. Now here's something to keep in mind, Trailmakers has full controller support, which is great for the Steam Deck. You can drive, fly and build vehicles without any extra setup, however menu navigation and building can feel a bit clunky with the controller, making it a little tricky to fine-tune complex creations, but it is still very playable, although this is something to be aware of. By the way, did you know that only 3.2% of you watching this video are subscribed? That's more than a percent improvement since the last month, but I think we can still go more than that. If you're enjoying this and you want more Steam Deck content, consider hitting that subscribe button because it really helps the channel out. So is this game worth playing on the Steam Deck? I think so. It runs surprisingly well, it has a ton of customization options, there is an online plus offline mode, it offers a fresh campaign and survival experience, and the building menu can be a bit finicky, but overall I think it's a fantastic game for handheld play. If you love creative sandbox games with physics driven mechanics, this one is probably the best portable experience you can get right now. Now thanks for watching the video, if it helped you out give it a like and subscribe for more Steam Deck content. Let me know in the comments if there are any other games you'd like me to test and I'll see you guys in the next video.